that um, when you first see or when you first learn Tai Chi, everybody's putting emphasis on where their hands belong. But if we can erase that and say to ourselves, if we use our whole body and our mind, our hands go for the ride. We have to finish up a little bit, but our hands go for the ride as long as I'm using my hips and waist. My hands go for the ride when I ward off. No matter how much power I have, the hands go for the ride because the power is stored not in your hand, but in the radiates from your feet, your legs, your hips, your, your core, okay? So to show an example, I would do, I would do this. These are hand motions. I'm not doing anything with my core, so that's very incorrect. So we should change our point of view. We should say Tai Chi is a dance that emphasizes movements coming from our core, not how beautiful our hands are. The hands are gonna be beautiful only if you've stored enough energy and you can dispense and uh, stimulate that energy to get to the fingertips. So all of our movements so far are all dependent upon that premise that the body moves the, makes the movement powerful and beautiful. That is how Tai Chi is based, okay? So we want to get away from a hand motion. If it were a hand motion, and I think you recall me doing this, it would look, cloud hands would only be this way. But cloud hands, the movement cloud hands is a total body movement. It addresses my mind, it addresses my core, it dresses my feet, but how am I doing it? I'm using my hips and waist. With grasping of the bird's tail, I set up my hand. Sorry, I set up my hand. I push my opponent away. Turn my hips and waist. Did I do anything with my hands? Only now. Then what do I do? I keep my hands here staggered and I power down, power back, turn at my hips and waist. Turn at my hips and waist, contact, turn at my hips and waist, contact, push, because I'm expending that energy in the back where it is stored. I'm gonna restore it, recycle it by lowering myself to sit back. I'm here coiled up. I need some relief, I'm going to do the opposite. My hands do not lead my motion. Watch the other side. My hands remain the same. I do reposition it to center myself. I need to ward off. My energy is in my back or left foot this time. Out on an L, push. Turn, reposition. Do my hands come down this way? No, they come down because I need to store that energy. Turning my hips and waist, repositioning my hands, turning my hips and waist. Center, I can push that energy out, separate that energy. How do I roll back? I sit down and lower myself. I need to uncoil myself the same way I coiled up. Okay, let's try it one more time for, for um, keeping our memory really fresh, okay? Um, actually, we have five minutes. Let's do all of it here, okay? Yang Ten form, good Tai Chi posture, commencing form. Rotate, take a deep breath, elevate, shoulder length, shoulder uh, level, re reverse, re make yourself small, center, backhand higher, open, bring it closer to your ear, turn your 
hips and waist, repulsing of the monkey. Center, glance, open, bring it to the head, turn, meet, repulse two. T stance, parallel and higher. We're going to multitask to brush our knee. Ear, hand, heel, turn, hips and waist, brush knee. Sit back, lower, pivot, parallel higher on a T. Ear, heel, hand, turn, hips and waist, brush knee. Sit back, lower, pivot, hold your ball on a T stance. Out on an L, part the wild horse's mane. Here's your snack. Sit back, lower, pivot, center. L, bow stance. Flip the forward hand, join it with the back hand. Sit back, sit down, lower. Pivot takes you to 12 o'clock, stem and cup. Pivot takes you out to the nine o'clock. Two things happen, flip the hands, close the feet. 12 o'clock, stem and cup. Three o'clock, flip the hands, open the feet. Stem and cup at 12. Nine o'clock, only flip the hands. 12 o'clock, stem and cup. Three o'clock, flip the hands, close the feet. Stem cup. Two things happen, nine o'clock, flip and open. 12 o'clock, stem cup. Only one thing happens at three, flip the hands, shift the weight up, center, golden cockerel. Other side. Kicking out. Holding our ball, today's lesson. We're going to ward off. Out and to the side, push your opponent away. Turn your hips and waist, reposition your hands. Grasp the bird's tail, sit down, sit back. Look back, turn, contact. Push at the center. Separate your hands, palms facing the floor. Coil down, uncoil up and forward. Sit down. Sit back, pivot, left hand on the bottom, left foot ready to go on a holding of a ball, out and to the side, push your opponent away. Turn your hips and waist, reposition your hands, sit down, sit back, look back, turn, contact, center of the body, push out that energy. Separate the hands and roll back and sit down. The more you can store, the more you can give out. Sit back, sit down, pivot, next week's lesson. Pivot, open pivot, in pivot, shift your weight to the left, cross hands for security to center. Rise up as you rotate on your wrists. Both palms are now facing you at a cross. Push out that energy by using your left wrist to push out and your core muscle, separate. How do you close? Drop your shoulders, tuck your elbows, wrists, flex your knees, up on your heel, off the ground, closing form. Okay?